G'day guys. Hello. We're heading north. We're off the coast of Guatemala. We're heading to the southern port in Mexico of Chiapas. Why Mexico, you ask? It's a good question. We're thinking about a bigger boat. <laughs> Stay tuned. Wow, what a beautiful green lush bay. This is Bahia Salinas. It's beautiful green lush hillsides and like mountains in the background. Awesome protected bay. But we are picking up anchor and leaving. It's a bummer. We would have loved to spend more time here, but we have some little change of plans coming up. We are headed, surprise, back to Mexico. All right, let's turn this thing around. We are on the border. Costa Rica's over there. Nicaragua's there. And we are headed back to Mexico. 200, 200 miles. miles. In case you missed why we are heading north and looking at another boat, be sure to check out our announcement video. The link is in the description. Adios, Costa Rica. It was nice to see you. That was land. We, we didn't get there. <laughs> I've got to say, neither of us are really looking forward to this little trip up north here. It's not the direction we want to go, and also it's probably going to be a good motor trip. We've really got to make some time because of this situation that we've got with a boat, possibly. We have to get back to get a flight out of Sharpest. Uh, the wind does not look great. It's a nice breeze here right now, but it's just offshore. So I think this is going to be mostly a 200 mile motor, which is something we've never done before and don't look forward to. We'll try and sail whenever we can, and I'm not feeling great today. You ready to haul up? Surprise! We have wind, which is awesome. Question you might be wondering is, will we be back to Central America? The answer is yes, most definitely. Hey. Sailing into the sunset. It's behind you, the sunset. There he is. Look at that. On our trip north, we were expecting much of the same weather that we had coming down to Central America. Sailing along the edge of the ITCZ or monsoon trough, the weather is characterized by very little wind most of the day, followed by thunder squalls during afternoons and nights. Definitely not our favorite sailing conditions. Hello! We're back to the crazy thunderstorms in the evening. We've had decent wind for the last four to five hours, which is really good. Well, last night we were motoring and right as the wind was filling in and we were starting to sail, our engine died. And we thought maybe we are out of fuel because we know we aren't super topped up on fuel, but as per our calculations, we should have had fuel. So now this morning it's settled down. We did a manual fuel check with the dipstick because our fuel gauge is broken. It's like we have plenty of fuel. So like we thought, the other option is the fuel filter. Ty just got in and changed that Raycor fuel filter. It did look super dirty. That is the likely cause. Your little, is that your bunk in there? It is. Well, it's actually cooler in here than outside right now. <laughs> and if, all the stuff. If we out. do get a bigger boat, this is the reason why enough we talked about it enough. So this is why we're trying to sail. And this is just so we can get to the engine. And it's just so we can get to one side of the engine. Engine access is really difficult on here. Uh, especially when the lockers are full, when we're under sail or anything like that. This is all just to get in so we can get to the on engine filter, the lift pump, the injectors. It is not easy. Engine started up. Yay! Worked Jeez. out both. Uh, what was it? Was gonna say is like a teamwork. That's the word. Teamwork. Turned on the electric fuel pump as well as we got the manual fuel pump, the manual lift pump, and uh, seemed to get it started after a few times there. So yeah. should be good now with the new Raycor filter in there. We didn't need to bleed it or anything like that. Good to go. Yeah. How long has it been since we changed that filter? I think it was maybe last August. 
So like 10, at yeah. least 10 months. Yeah, it's maybe. been a while. Um, and we know we were dredging the bottom of the tank a bit with various qualities of diesel. Uh, and we were also not bashing, but you know, we're getting choppy seas the last couple of days. So definitely mixed it up. When Ty did his little dipstick fuel check, looked like we had about 15 gallons left in there. We also have an additional 10 gallons that we carry in two jerry cans. So we're going to go ahead and add those now since it's pretty flat, calm. Nice little jiggle siphon here. Doesn't take too long, probably four to five minutes to empty the 20 liters here into the tank. Another afternoon sunset and more dolphins just riding on the bow. I love it. Got like five or six of them right under the bow, probably another 10 or 12 around here. Crazy how close they get, like a couple of inches away. Love riding it. Back behind me, the storm clouds have already started to form. Loud thunder earlier. I'm sure we'll have some big lightning shows again tonight. And Hillary's been napping down below for the last four hours or so, so hopefully a pretty good nap for her there. She didn't get much sleep last night, so it'll be good. These dolphins are incredible to watch. Amazing, amazing creatures. And you can hear them talking, even from up here, you can hear the little clicks and whistles. Here's a little look. What's heading our way tonight? Well, maybe not heading our way. Something will head our way. What's going on? Another day, another locker. <laughs> We got to spend equal amount of times in each. We had our um, fresh uh, water heater hose burst on us last night, and it drained 40 gallons of our fresh water into the bilge. Fun times. Yeah. So right now we don't have any water pressure. We do have a manual pump if we needed to, but we want to get this. <laughs> see if we can patch this up or cut it off, and it's the very end. So last time on our sail into Puerto Vallarta, this actually burst off and came the, like the hose clamp came out and pulled itself a little more serious now this hose is actually popped right through somehow obviously just old and weak and it burst finally got a little bit of wind this arvo finally we're <laughs> actually sailing we had the spinnaker up for a while and now we're sailing close to old genoa staysail maine we're quite the day today we've been having problem after problem lately we had the fuel filter issue yesterday, mm -hmm. or the day before. Uh, today we had, or la early in the morning I think, the water hose burst on our water heater. So we ran the water maker, trying to fill maker. it up. Water maker, we thought the motor actually uh, fried and seized up, but it turns out the breaker blew. Either way, not a good thing. Uh, that's a 50 amp breaker, so for some reason that's pulling more. It's only 39 amps. Uh, but it just gets a lot hotter than I feel like it should, so we're going to have to investigate that a little bit more. And now, beautiful sunset and no storm clouds around. We might not have a night of squalls. None that we can see, but that's what we are just talking about, how big the sky is right now. It seems like it's been a while since we've seen a big open sky without giant thunderheads all around us. But now we're pretty close hauled here mm -hmm. and making a little bit of ground. We've had like a current, right? Yeah, there's a couple knot current against us. So even when we're motoring, we can't even make four knots motoring. It's like three and a half, 3.8 knots is the best we can do with the motor. We've been trying to manage our fuel consumption. Normally we wouldn't care if we're going slow. It's the first, one of the first times we really sailed on much of a schedule, but due to us needing to get into Chiapas so we can fly up to La Paz for our little projecty Bodhi thingy. Bodhi thingy. The and Bodhi thingy. We didn't have full tanks. We got a little bit of fuel before we left Nicaragua, but obviously we weren't planning this big trip and haven't really had a good opportunity to go in somewhere to get some. 
There's a few places on the way up the coast here, but none of them sound that great to get into. Uh, there's some bars, there's we busy commercial ports, it's a, it's a bit out of the way. And we don't want to have to do another check-in, because that's you know, a half-day process usually just to check in and all that good stuff. Well, it's getting dark now. It is. So we're going to uh, put on a podcast and have a listen. Despite the clear skies at the beginning of the night, eventually we did get some storm clouds roll over us in the very early hours of the morning. Well, the good thing about stormy nights is it means these amazing, beautiful sunrises. Such cool clouds all lit up. Everything's just glowing. And it usually means we get some wind, which we did have finally the second half of the night last night. We were able to do some sailing. For a while it was really good sailing and then kind of not in the direction we want to go, which is what's happening now, but we are sailing kind of in the general direction, tacking. Ideally we want a heading of about 290 degrees. So basically, what is that, northwest? And we're going a little bit off that, but not too far. Not so much that it makes it worth turning the motor on. Motor's on. Wind is dying. With the calm seas, I decided to get around to a project that we've been putting off for a long time. Scrubbing the lifelines. One of our very first boat projects after purchasing Varuna was replacing the lifelines. The old ones had a vinyl coating over them, which trapped and held in water, condensation, and corrosion. At the time, we opted to replace them with bare wire, with the thought that the exposure to air and the ability to give them a clean from time to time would help keep the corrosion at bay. She got Got a black skipjack. It's been a while since we've had a skipjack. Something different for dinner. Yeah, super tasty, cooked up like steak. We used up all of our um, Dorado, so good thing we caught a fish. It's down below sleeping. I, uh, I don't know if Hillary woke me or uh, I think I just got woken up. I heard a bunch of commotion. We're about to get hit by what sounds like a pretty large thunderstorm cell. Um, I think Hillary said it looks quite long, I think from behind maybe. Anyway, it's got me a little bit nervous. Um, I feel like we're not fully prepared. Uh, Hillary actually had everything done and inside and well taken care of. We've got a staysail out. I've got a full main though, uh, I don't like. I feel like we should have had a reefed main in. Mm, that's not something I want to do now. Um, either of us at the mast with all the lightning around. And Hillary's upstairs still uh, at the helm, which makes me a bit nervous as well. Hopefully it is all good. I'm worried for nothing, just a bit nervous, probably being woken up. And just knowing how powerful these thunderstorms are growing up. With regular thunderstorms, I know the amount of power that can come pretty darn quickly. So I'm just hoping we don't get knocked down pretty unlikely, but I don't like the full main. That's a lot of sail to have up right now, in my opinion. A bit of a squall tonight that we're not prepared for. I thought it was going to pass by on the side of us, and it did not. It came right over us. So, since we didn't have time to reef the main, I'm just steering us, keeping us downwind, keeping the wind kind of off our starboard quarter. Um, we try and come up into it gonna get knocked down. Man, so yeah, a bit of a rough night, but good news is squall has passed, the sun is up, and we see have some good wind left over after the squall. I don't know how long it'll last, but 
We're doing like six knots close hauled exactly on the heading that we want to be on. So fingers crossed that this holds and we can make some ground. We have about 120 miles to our final destination. If we can sail most of that, that would be awesome because we don't have enough fuel to get there. Motoring. Beautiful double rainbow it was. The second one faded, but now just a regular rainbow after the storm last night. Very wet. Lots and lots of huge lightning bolts. Way too close for comfort. Listen to a podcast. Because no matter New how one much we found, you wear, it's called Meet the well Ocean. The equipment is. Just keeping an eye out right now. We're passing through a pretty heavy fished area here right now. It's about past a couple of pongas back there. It's like a group of three of them rafted up here. Another one off on our port side. And a bunch of what looks like just long lines going straight down. So just keeping an eye out, make sure we don't run into anyone and don't snag any lines. I don't know if you can see these clouds back here already, but these giant thunderheads. You can already hear massive thunder booms coming off of them. Last night's was a doozy. Wind today, right now? It's a miracle! A I hope it stays for as long as we need it to, which is like a full 24 hours. But We checked the dipstick on the fuel this morning and it looks like we're pretty much out. Uh, we'll check again later, but uh, from my calculations it looks like we're about 5 gallons, maybe a little bit more left. Which is what we wanted to reserve for pulling into the port in the marina. We want to have to make sure we have our engine right there. So around now we're down to having to sail, which thankfully today is one of the first days we've had where it's wind all day. You working on fixing our sail? Yesterday somehow the cotter pin that holds the clue of our sail managed to come out and the pin fell out. Luckily on the deck we saved it. And put it back in and I just realized that uh, one of our reefing lines was on the wrong side of it and twisted. Maybe it's a good thing we didn't try and reef last night. It <laughs> would have been difficult or it might have even done more damage. It might have, yeah. Yeah, that cotter pin came out when we dropped the topping like yesterday. Yeah, and it was it... stuck on the sail bag somehow and mm -hmm. pulled it off. All fixed? All fixed. Trying to bring the halyard back up. out of the direction we want to go. And it's not a little bit of wind. No, we're like beating into it 15 to 20 knots, but we'll take it over no wind and drifting around because we have no more diesel left to motor. Only enough to get into the harbor. We're but hoping today we make it into Shafts. We're hoping. We're only wind. like 20 some miles from there, but it's a very slow upwind beat. So right now we're on about a 15 to 20 degree heel. We're pretty darn close haul. We're, what do you say, about 40, 40 degrees off the wind? 40 degrees off the wind, maybe we can get it down to 30. And we're still cruising along right around 6 knots. And probably about 18 knots to 20, I think you were saying too, right? We had some 20 gusts earlier. Yes, yeah, kind of steady 17, 18 ish. We've got three sails set right now the main sail with a single reef, stay sails out all the way, and the Genoa's out all the way. It's getting us there in short order. Yeah. Welcome home to Mexico. Welcome back. 
Hey, we haven't been to this part of Mexico, so we're letting everyone see a different part of Mexico. You can see behind me there, that is the breakwater. It's coming into Puerto Chiapas. Used to be known as Puerto Madero, uh, but it was recently renamed and just called the Port Captain. He said the channel's clear, come on in. So we're sailing on in and gonna hope our motor starts once we get in there. We're inside the breakwater. Woohoo! That's where we're going. Hey, I'm glad they got some road signs around here. It's helpful. It's a big place in here. Hillary's back there doing what she does really well, docking the boat. She's always been the docker. She's really good at it. I was just putting the dock lines out. I also put the fenders out. And I think we've got some guys waiting for us. Huh? Gorgeous little channel in here, hey? Looks pretty well protected, so. That should be nice. Thank you so much for watching and another huge thanks to our patrons who support the making of these videos. Please remember to give us a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed so you never miss an episode. Until next time, adios.